Let's play Feed the Beast Monster with AIM. Hello everyone to Let's Play Monster. Um, this is the Feed the Beach mod pack. It's still in beta, uh, beta form. And this is a hay crow. Yeah, this is a giant hay crow that is part of a secret world that you probably won't be seeing much of currently, but you will later on. It's part of a quest world. This is the um, GF Gaming server that is Blisk off there. He's the dungeon master and he makes dungeons and worlds for us to quest on. This is one of the worlds he's working on. It's pretty spooky. The sky is, I think is actually purple, but um, my render distance like on really tiny currently. Hopefully we'll get that fixed someday. Yeah. And this is just a bunch of floating tendrils. If you fall off, you probably, I think you die? I'm not sure. I'm not going to fall off, so you won't be seeing that. So, we are going to go to my house. We'll go... I'm actually going to take off the coordinates first, so you can't, um randomly find me. I think it's this but no. Menu button. Yes. Off. Okay. The coordinates for this world doesn't really matter just because I have no idea where I am. This is actually a miscraft world with a lot of weird stuff. But yes, we'll head to my house. And actually, hope we make it there. We are now at my house, which is just the two chests and the crafting table. We had an accident, and um, yeah, you remember that house in my intro? That used to be right here. Um, we had an accident, and now it's this place. This is technically now an ocean biome also we had to fill the whole o the whole ocean up with dirt so here on down to bedrock is dirt so yeah um... all my stuff is in here um... i can show you what's in my backpack as well just so you know what i have on me And I have all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the strong box, but I will not be opening it until way later on. Uh, most of the stuff, uh, most of this um, mod pack has 185 mods in it now, so that's why I'm a bit laggy because I can barely handle it when it's all mobbies out and stuff. But yeah. This, I live in a little town, and, um, I'll, yeah, so I'm going to build my house out of blood red, um, wood, fire resistant planks, which is kind of cool, they're found in the nether, and I think either basalt cobble or great wood planks, which is this nice, pretty dark wood. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's a dustberry. Let's eat one of these, see what happens. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's... Okay. I can now see in the dark. I have night vision. It's a little buggy, but night vision always is. So, we have town halls right where that says rich, but that's where town hall is. New... my real house. Yeah, so hopefully... I'll be exploring some of the mods in this mod pack so you guys can get to know it. I'm on the GF Gaming server for Feed the Beast Monster, which is pretty awesome. I'll put links below for everything. And we'll have fun. So come and join us. It is a uh, beta form, a uh, beta mod pack, so there will be tons of updates and stuff currently going on. We currently use 1.0.9, and we add, um, what is it, 
a few um, basically you update to that mod pack and then you close out after it's finishing updating and then add four things which I'll list below also that is the current thing it might change within the next week or so since this is just starting off this is a baby server or well a very young server it just it's been only on for about a month or two or well about a month or a few weeks the world has regened and this is the officially new world and it's quite awesome the people on here are nice it is a pvp server as i said before there are rules to that however so there's no unfair killing and yeah griefing is not allowed which is nice towns are fun because there's people and you have nice friends to live with so yeah um, I'm gonna start building my house I don't know what shape it's gonna be yet so I'm gonna pause and I'll give you a progress build in a little bit huh. yeah so I'll pause here for now and then I'll come back on when I've built some more of my house and then we'll go from there. Hello, I've decided to come over to visit Farrick. He's actually on this server. He plays on all the servers I play on, most of them. This is his redwood tree house, I think he lives in it. And he's surrounded by berries. Um, let's go actually find him. Do -do -do. Knock, knock, knock. I can't open the door. Maybe? No, I can't open the door. <laughs> that didn't work. Hello, Farrick. They can't actually hear you, so... I don't... Yeah. This is his first floor. We're gonna go downstairs. To look at his garden. Is over here? Mm -hmm. He has this massive garden. When I mean massive, it's. Let me show you. It's currently being yeah, it's currently being remodeled. Um, let me find the way down to. Ah. Yips, go back up. I'm not very good with ladders. Yeah, I'll just go all the way down. Yeah, but... Yeah, see? Um, massive garden. And here's the bottom floor. It's... The fog's on, actually, right now, so... There's a way to turn that off. That's bedrock. Yeah, so this goes all the way down to bedrock. Yeah, he's just harvested. I can't get up the ladder. Um, this is awkward. Oh, okay. Just push up. Oops. Yeah, ladders are not my best thing. <laughs> yeah, I can't fly, so... Yeah, someday we'll have jetpacks and be able to fly up the ladders. But, yeah. He has earth essences, which he's going to make me a half a stack of dirt, so it helps me build my house. Because I was too lazy to dig up some dirt at my house, even though I live on a pile of dirt. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's do... See ya. See ya, Farrick. Okay, um, yeah, so this is all I've done so far. So yeah, um, I shall the pause again and come back when I've done something more. Okay, so I've got some of my house mainly done. Well, it's not mainly done, but the front part's done, relatively. But yeah, um, this is the current design for it. I've been using um, clear glass, which is a tinker's construct, which I'll probably be doing a lot of, so I'm actually setting up a smelt tree which I found exploring. I've been just making extra parts. 
I've been making this uh, seared faucet and the smeltery drain also the smeltery controller which I will show you how to make real quick with my book let's see to make the seared bricks you take you make grout which is sand uh, gravel and clay and then you bake that and it makes the seared bricks to make the normal seared bricks is this the smeltery controller is um, the seared bricks all the way around like this but well, you need one of those you also need at least one of these smeltery drains you can have multiple ones they're just like this and then a seared tank you need also you can put lava in it to fuel the thing otherwise it won't get fuel um, you can make seared glass and windows so you can see with the liquids inside of it a faucet is really good which is what I'm using it drains it out you can also make a long faucet from here and then hook those up a uh, casting table you'll probably need one of those a casting basin you'll need at least one of those and you can make clear glass and all sorts of stuff but yeah I'll be showing you how to make um, the tank thing you need glass for that Ooh, a little bit of lag but it's I think it's like this with a glass in the middle yep oh that might not be the wrong one I think it's this one well we'll just pop it here um Okay, that's the smelt tree. And then actually let me go Okay, yeah. You put stuff in here to be smelted. This is where you dump the fuel. You just put like lava in it. Actually I'm gonna make some glass windows so we can actually see the snuff snuff. The stuff being <laughs> smelted. I believe it is glass like this. I think we have enf enough blocks to do a few of those. Yes. Is this glass window we want or the other one? Let's find out. Um... Okay, we'll go take a look at the one at Town Spawn and see how they have their window set up. We'll just do now. I forgot. I'm actually my internship is up, so I'm now eligible for being a chat mod, but they currently don't need one yet. Ooh, that's a pretty tree. So when they do need one, I'll be able to apply for it and most likely get the job. But so now I'm just a minor three which is the highest rank of miner and then it goes up but currently there's no way to actually get there yet okay these are seared glass okay there's a crafting table over here somewhere um... let's see I think it was like this I'll make a few just because we can ta-da now I'm gonna pause while I walk all the way back home okay we now have the glass oh there we go seared glass we're gonna stick that here so we can see everything inside Eh, let's make it this tall. The taller it is, I believe, the more stuff it can hold, but there's a limit of how tall it can actually be. I think it's up to 12. But this is tall enough for what we're doing. I also need to make another faucet, which is quite simple. It's like a bucket, but made out of seared brick.
Okay, now all we need is some lava, and we should be good. Let me grab a bucket and toss all this stuff in there. I wonder if I have any lava actually. No. Because we don't want to lose our book. Okay, let's head to the portal and go find some lava. Monster jerky is yummy because you don't have to use coal to cook it and it doesn't hurt you. It's just the zombie flesh and on the drying rack. should still be a portal here. Yes. And a beehive. Here we go. Okay, the lava should be all on the bottom floor. At least the accessible. I don't want to fall in it though. I can't see the floor. Okay. Woo. Yeah, there's lava right there, so if I had... Whoa, jumped off. Let's see. Green fire? That fire is green. Hellfire. Um, okay. That doesn't sound very good. That's an imp. Let's get this way. So that way I won't accidentally fall in. Doesn't seem to be any hostiles around me. We'll get a few buckets and then head home. There we go. We are home. And I froze, so just one minute. Okay. So you just right click with the water, I believe. Or not the water. Hold Okay, stick lava in there, and then you click on here, and then, ta-da. It only takes up that much because my smeltery is not big, but this it'll all smelt it at once, and fill it up with liquid glass. I need to f also need to figure out how to make the little frame so we can make um, special tools. I think my book's in here. Yes, it is. Let's see. Let me figure out how to make that yellow, f or not the yellow thing. We need to make some alumite, which is made from aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Apparently, it's one of the best things to make tools out of. Um, blood, blood blocks are kind of cool. Um, let's see. Okay, it's not in this book, so it should be in this book, maybe? No? Um, No, not this book. So I guess that means it's in the other book. Which is somewhere. Well, for now, we're going to um, set up the. Let's see. No. Okay, well, I need to get some aluminum, I believe, and some brass. to make, I think it is, aluminum brass, yeah. I need to get aluminum and copper. So after we do some, make some of this glass, I'll be make, pausing and going mining. Because I don't actually have, I haven't actually gone mining yet. 
but you just right click on this and it'll fill it up. If you have more than one type of stuff in here, you click on the one you want and it'll take it to the bottom and that's what will come out of the faucets. And I will also be showing you how to make casting cast things. Um, so you can make cast tools and tool bits and stuff like that. So you can make really cool tools. We're going to um, get this jerky off so I can eat it. Um, I might be lagging actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. Nope. Yes. This stuff is super awesome. Let me add I can I wonder if it works with raw stuff too. Let's find out. Raw beef. I just lucked out because it was in the first chest. We'll just leave that on there and see what happens. So we have a smeltery going. Why that does that, we're going to make tool station. Well, we have a tool station, which is quite easy to make, I believe. Yeah, it's just a crafting table and a stencil. And a stencil is sticks and wood. So we'll stick that over here. This will be my tool station. Um, I've already found a bunch of patterns in a village, so we'll be able to use these to make stuff. I also have a chisel and other pieces, parts that I found in a village. Um, we're going to need wood. I guess the best thing to do is go cut down the tree so we have the right kind of wood. We'll cut down this one. Ah, door. I actually really hate doors. But they keep people out of your house. But, and it's good for having doorbells. Okay. We got some wood. Let's get some more from this little tree. And then we'll replant the saplings. Because replanting saplings is always nice. Because then you don't have to go wander really, really far away. Plant one here, 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 and then here. Oh, uh, one cool thing you can do is um, it's a special crafting thing you can make that will hold your stuff on it instead of like a normal crafting table. Let's see. Oops, that's not how you make sticks. I'll make a few of those. You can also splice jeans in here, which we'll also take a look at, and you can make yourself fly by becoming half bat or something. It's quite interesting, so we might try to take a look into that stencil table. That's how you make stencils. And then I need to make, I need to take this crafting table real quick. Um, ready to go. I think, yeah, hold on. Okay, we were having some block lag. But I think if you take a crafting table and put it on top of Oh yeah, if you just put a crafting table in your little crafting thing, it'll make a crafting station. Which is awesome. Ah, hello, Rich. He's the town chief mayor, or I don't know what his rank is currently. Let's stick the... Okay, we've got the tool station there. Um, we'll put the crafting station here, actually. Tool station. Stencil table, which we make stencils with. And then we need... What else do we need? Um, a log. Eh. 
get a log from here. I don't think anyone will notice if I just do this. Uh, sorry for all the lag. This is a huge mod pack. Okay. Part builder. This, we need this to make parts. And material. I think that's pretty much it. We need to make one of these, but we need a lot of iron, and I currently don't have that much iron. Drying racks are cool. Um, yeah, so we have pretty much everything. We just need some um, aluminum and some copper. Yeah. So for now we'll just stop here. Uh, I can also move the... this is basically one of the stencils in a chest, but I found a few um, while exploring villages, because the villagers now have them. And you can put um, stencils that you've made into it, the pattern. So we'll just move some of these into there, and we'll be using these to make some casting um, uh, patterns when we get next time on the videos. Yeah, but um, this video is actually kind of long, I guess. Oh well. Next one won't be so long, unless you guys like long videos. But um, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye! <laughs>